What's up everyone, welcome to another video and in today's video I wanted to discuss the question can you do too much when it comes to bodybuilding? Now many people like Rich Piana and CT Fletcher to just name a few like to promote the slogan of you can never do too much. You should always go all out in the gym. So in terms of and also the more you put in the more you get out. So in terms of training nutrition this means training like three to four hours a day, pushing till failure on pretty much all your sets, doing an hour of cardio, eating six up to 12 meals a day. And so I wanted to give my point of view, so from a natural standpoint, from a natural bodybuilder, if I consider myself a bodybuilder, even though I am not competing, but I'm trying to build muscle and also get pretty much in shape. Now, I want to state upfront that I have the utmost respect for those guys and what they've achieved so far. So no disrespect, but this is only my opinion. Now, I will try to illustrate this by an example. So let's say you need one hour of intense training to stimulate your maximum growth, your maximum muscle growth. Now, if you're training three hours, after one hour, you've already exhausted everything. So you've stimulated as much growth as your body can possibly produce within this time period. Now after one hour, everything's stimulated. If you're now training three hours, you're basically two hours just beating the shit out of your muscles, but not getting any benefit. On the one side, no benefit because you can't stimulate any more growth in this particular workout. But on the other hand, you're increasing your needed recovery time, which is a huge negative. So this basically means that you will need way more recovery time in order to hit that muscle again, for it to be recovered once you're hitting the muscle group again. So you have on the one side no benefit, so no additional growth, and on the other side a huge negative. You need more time to recover between workouts. And so will you will need to rest more between workouts before you can hit the same muscle group again. And that is exactly the prob problem. Because enhanced guys, and this is also what I, what I realized, is that most of the time it's enhanced guys that are tra is saying things like overtraining is only a myth. If you're eating enough and sleeping enough, you can't overtrain. Or push as hard as you can, you can't overtrain no matter how many sets you do. It's pretty much across the board always enhance guys why because they are enhanced they, they can use anabolic steroids and what do they do they can not only give, give you the ability to build more muscle but also recover faster and that is the key they can do way more volume because they can recover way faster than natural athletes do that is the point that is why those two groups so enhanced guys and natural guys can't train the same way. Most enhanced guys are doing like 30 sets per body part. And I tried it myself. And what happened after a couple of weeks, not only did I stall, I regressed because I was feeling so run down and I was just going through the motions because I didn't have any energy left. And the problem is also, they say you just eat more and also sleep more. But most people, there's a limit. You can't be, if you're training three hours a day, each and every day as a natural, you can't be sleeping 15 hours because you have a job. And you also can't be eating every two hours because you're pretty much working. So there's a limit and you can't do more than reaching a surplus. You can't go over that because otherwise you will get the fat slob. So there are certain limits. That is why, in my opinion, you can do too much, especially if you're natural. So, do train hard, but also train smart. Now, on the other hand, I want to warn you guys. Also, a lot of people use this ex ex as an excuse in the gym of like, oh, no, no, I shouldn't push too, myself too hard because otherwise I'm gonna be overtraining. Most people are, aren't gonna reach that so easily. So do push hard, but train hard, but smart at the same time. Get on a good program and periodize it. You can train till failure from time to time, but not all the time. So be smart about it. And how, I hope this, this video clarified some things for you. And just, uh, just something I wanted to add to the discussion because I see this over and over again. And I've tried it all. 
I've done those insane workouts with like 40 sets per body part. And I found that for natural lifters, more frequency will just work better because protein synthesis is up for, for up to 48 hours after workout. Afterwards, it goes down to a baseline. Now, enhanced guys can extend this period. So there, it makes more sense to train with higher volume and with less frequency. But we natural guys can't do that. So we also have to change our training philosophy. All right, guys, but this was it for today. I hope you liked this video. See you all in the next one. Germ Gains, peace out.